homeopathy like other alternate treatment systems get advertised as being natural and harmless they claim that they don't have any side effects like modern evidence-based medicine however we know that anything that has effects will have side effects homeopathic medicines are highly diluted foundations without any proven clinical or health benefits and it is traditionally believed not to cause adverse events however a recent study has revealed that homeopathic medicines might not be as harmless as perceived to be. Although there are various case studies around the world where homeopathic preparations were known to cause severe allergic reactions, skin diseases, cardiac events, heavy metal poisoning and kidney failures, this was the first time a study has revealed that these sugar pills in alcohol can also affect the liver. The study was conducted by a group of doctors and clinicians at the Rajagiri Liver Institute in Kochi, Kerala. You can read this study which is published in Hepatology Communications, the official journal of the American Association of Study of Liver Diseases and on PubMed. I shall share the links of both in the description box below. If you are a lover of your liver, please watch the entire video to know how you could end up getting a new liver by taking sugar pills dissolved in water and alcohol or in worst cases, say bye bye to this wonderful world. Hello. I am Anand and I welcome you to Pale Blue Thoughts, the channel which promotes scientific temper and exposes pseudoscience. This study was done in a single center and reviews cases of 9 patients with liver injury attributed to homeopathic formulations over a period of 3 years between Jan 2019 to Feb 2022. They identified 456 patients with suspected drug-induced liver injuries. The liver injury due to homeopathic medicines was proven after excluding all other causes of liver injury and liver biopsies showing homeopathic medicine related damage to liver cells. The research group carefully excluded or included patients based on scientifically approved methods. After excluding 213 patients with confirmed competing causes for acute hepatitis, 243 patients with drug-induced liver injuries underwent screening for further inclusion. After removing patients with liver injuries due to prescription drugs, they were left with 151 patients where the liver injuries were due to complementary and alternate medicines. From that lot, they narrowed down to 14 patients whose cause of hepatitis was homeopathic medicines. After the exclusion of five others who were lost to follow up or were with incomplete documentation, they were left with nine patients and they all had severe liver injuries only because they took some homeopathic formulations. The most common use of homeopathic medicine was for preventing COVID infection. Viewers may remember that I had done a couple of videos on Arsenicum Album 30C, the drug that was widely prescribed during the pandemic, which you can revisit here. All the patients suffered from acute hepatitis followed by chronic liver failure. More than 40% patients had underlying cirrhosis which became unstable after using homeopathic medicines and these patients developed liver failure. Four patients died due to homeopathic medicines related liver failure. Apart from prevention of COVID, they were taking these formulations for various other diseases such as skin infections, cough, arthritis, headache, cancer, excess hair fall and kidney stones. All homeopathic formulations were prescribed or dispensed by trained and registered homeopaths and made by private manufacturers. The research group further retrieved many of the homeopathic medicines from the patients and analyzed them in a government approved laboratory. The findings were shocking. Analysis showed that homeopathic medicine contained, watch out for this list, they contained around 156 compounds which included antibiotics, steroids, sleeping pills, narcotics, heavy amounts of alcohol and industrial grade chemicals even in some formulations which are supposed to have been diluted. How did it land up there? Isn't homeopathy a system of treatment where the initial particle is so diluted that none of it really remains? I'm sure you would have seen my heart pick drinking episode. I survived without ending up in an emergency room because I used pure harpic and diluted it exactly as per classical homeopathy. But these formulations contained such additives because they were added to it on purpose or were contaminants. Also many homeopathic practitioners prescribe mother tinctures which are pure alcohol based forms of heavy metals or herbals that are poisonous and toxic 
and insufficiently diluted remedies. This demonstrates that adverse liver related events due to homeopathy were mainly due to the use of concentrated forms of remedies, adulteration, contamination, insufficient dilution and the presence of alcohol. Adding on to this, homeopathic systems lack what is called as pharmacovigilance in evidence-based medicine. Pharmacovigilance is a systematic study of adverse events post a drug has been given the license to be sold in the market. Sometimes many adverse events may occur which were not detected in the clinical trials or may be caused due to long-term use of the drug. Evidence-based medicine continues to monitor the drugs even after they hit the market, whereas in homeopathy, any adverse reactions where there is a worsening of the underlying disease or new onset of symptoms, they are considered as part of the healing process. If your situation worsens, your homeopath will just tap your shoulder and tell you that it is his medicine working. In reality, you are now moving closer to kicking the bucket. And since there is no monitoring of the preparation and no monitoring of adverse events in homeopathy, it is no wonder that many patients end up in a hospital bed awaiting a new liver. The research team did not stop here. They went on to analyze various homeopathic preparations made by famous homeopathic manufacturers. Arif Hussain led this project which was aptly titled as the placebo project. They chose the commonly prescribed homeopathic drugs such as arsenicum album, mercurius solubilis and plumbum metallicum at different dilutions to see if it contains advertised active compound or other active compounds. They chose three dilutions of 30C, 200C and 1M. Ideally, they should have found only the solvent and not a molecule of arsenic, mercury or lead. But it wasn't a shocking result when they found heavy metals and alcohol and in some cases even steroids in quantities which can cause severe damage to your body. So what did the project find out? That homeopathic medicines manufactured by private German, Indian, state government companies or made by homeopaths have absolutely no active compound except alcohol and some impurities of heavy metal. Just look at the ethanol content and compare it with the same on your alcoholic beverages. These studies break the myths that homeopathy is gentle healing, side effect free and effective. There have been more than 100 studies that have shown that homeopathic medicines work no better than a placebo and it is not effective for any disease condition known to humankind. But homeopathy enjoys great status as a healing treatment among developing countries and within a group of people who have anecdotally benefited from its use for its self-limiting diseases. The public must realize that not only is homeopathy useless for any disease, it can also be harmful and cost your life. Say no to homeopathy and your liver will say, I love you. I wish to thank the efforts of Arif, Abby and Rashmi and for their willingness to bring this important study for the benefit of my viewers through my channel. More power to you guys and keep up the good work. You can follow them on Twitter and YouTube and while you're at it, you can also follow my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages. Let us interact more and spread the message of scientific temper. And if you are among the 60% who watch my videos and haven't subscribed, please click on the little bell icon to subscribe now. You can now contribute by clicking the super thanks button or by buying me a coffee, the link for which can also be found in the description link. I shall be back soon with yet another scientific temper building episode. Until then, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.